Hey guys, so I finally had some time to go ahead and declutter this drawer, which is basically my blushes. And it's been kind of overfilling and I've been adding a few blushes here and there. I haven't been shopping like crazy like I used to, um, but I still, you know, shop here and there. And then I end up kind of with this problem where I have no room to put my new blushes in. And I know for a fact that there are some blushes that I just don't touch at all. Plus, I mean, I haven't been using my blushes as much because, you know, you have to wear a mask constantly. So it's almost like pointless. Um, I kind of stopped using foundation and blushes and bronzers as much because I feel like it gets on my mask and it just irritates me. Like, I, I don't like that residue on my mask. So I kind of stopped using it altogether. I only use blushes when I go out and which is, which is fine. But I do have a lot of these blushes, like for that purpose, you know, for only when I'm going out, it's way too many blushes. And I know, you know, I do YouTube videos also, but I kind of want to stay in that drawer and not have to find another space like for extra blushes. So that's why I want to kind of declutter and see what I can get rid of. It's going to be really hard because I really do like my blushes, but I figured like maybe I can do it on in video. Um, that way it kind of will motivate me to declutter some more because I find like with, with my palettes, like eyeshadow palettes, that's what I did. I filmed it and I ended up decluttering more than I kind of expected. So, well, this is a balm cosmetics blush and um, it's the auto balm girl power powder or no P W D R. And so is there a shade? I don't think there is like a specific shade. Like, I don't know if they come in other, you know, shades or something, but, oh, it has a highlighter actually, and it has a bronzer and the two blushes. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. We need to find a basket or something to put these blushes in that I'm getting rid of. By the way, all of them are in my Alex um, uh, drawers from Ikea. And this is like the six, is it the six or the five? Yeah, the six drawer one. And then the organizers inside are basically custom built for Alex drawers and they're on Etsy. If I find them, I'm gonna definitely provide the links down below. They're pretty pricey to be honest with you. Um, but I mean, they're acrylic and they're very well built. Then I have these two blushes from Milani. I don't know what they're so beat off. <laughs> they're, they're basically brand new. 01 and 02. They are very, very similar looking to one another. Um, I mean, I really like Milani blushes though. So I think um, maybe I'll, I can get rid of one of them. What do you think? I might just go ahead and get rid of this one and then I'll keep the 01. Like I said, they're still like in the packaging. I think because I was kind of holding them for a haul, Ulta haul, and um, they were kind of in a mix with other makeup, they kind of got scratched up, but they're brand new. Then we have this MAC by Pat and um, Patrick Stars collab. It's a beautiful duo. Look at this, you guys. And it's brand new. And <laughs> am I gonna use it? It's beautiful to look at, but I think I can get rid of it, you guys. It's so beautiful that I like, almost kind of hold myself back uh, to use it. And I don't know what the hell's going on with me, but that's kind of how I feel about this blush. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it because if it's just going to sit there, not serve any purpose besides just being beautiful, I don't need that. All right, then we have this one, same story, The Simpsons. It's almost like a collectible item by now because it is limited edition it's very hard to come by anymore and it's absolutely beautiful like it's one of the be most beautiful shades i've ever seen in a blush but it's like again i'm not using it it's brand new i haven't touched it in i don't know half a year or so maybe a year uh, since i got it so yeah, I haven't touched it since I got it. So that kind of tells you, you know, that I should get rid of it. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well. We have this Makeup Geek, the Flawlessly Ever After. And I, okay, there we go. Also a very beautiful quad, but I haven't touched it. 
It's been sitting in my drawer and I haven't touched it. So we're going to get rid of that one too. Okay. I think, I don't think I can get rid of this one because I really wanted it. And did I use it? This is the Gold Rush by Benefit. Benefit blushes are amazing. Oh, it's still, yeah, it's still brand new in the packaging. Well, yeah, hmm, this is a tough one because this was a recent purchase actually. So I think I'm gonna hold on to it because it's been a recent purchase. So has this one. Um, it's basically like a quad of blushes. It comes with the Dillian Recateur um, Hula and another one, of, like, I don't know, I'm not sure. This one is cold, but yeah, I know it's brand new. But then again, I just recently got it. Hmm. I believe I have Hula Bronzer. California, Dandelion. Well, no, they're beautiful. I don't think I own, other than the Hula Bronzer, I don't think I own any of them. If I do, then I have to get rid of it. If I find, like, uh, one or two blushes the, that come in a, are in this set, I have to get rid of this set because it's brand new. So we're going to put it in the maybe for now. All right. Then we are going to go into this MAC. I mean, it's actually really nice. And did I seriously not even touch it? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, how gorgeous is this? This is a limited edition. Well... Oh my god, this blush is so beautiful. And the bronzer and the highlighter. But again, I haven't touched it for so long. Like, why am I not reaching for this? There's got to be a reason. You know, it's beautiful to look at. But it's like, I'm not using it. You know, I'm going to get rid of it. We're going to just, oh my god, I'm getting rid of all my MAC, MAC blushes. Are you serious? No, it's not going to be all of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is the balm. I thought it was the benefit. The down boy. And I just kind of swatched it once. I believe that it's it's kind of washing out a little bit on camera. But if I turn my light around, maybe I'll stop doing that or move it away. Anyways, um, this is a beautiful blush. It's um, a little bit darker in light than it shows on camera. Well, actually, now it's getting a little closer to that shade. But I'm going to get rid of it because I don't think I'll be, I'll be using that. Same thing with this one. Kind of swatched it. Why did I use it? Okay, so this is the Balm Springs. And it looks like I just swatched it. And it's a bit too dark for me. I'm like really pale right now because it's winter time. But even summertime, like I never get that tan where that blush would be good for me. Okay, then we have, oh, NARS blush. This is a cream blush where, this is that, um, I think it's a orgasm cream blush. So I'm definitely keeping that. It's so nice. And then we have the Laura Mercier, the little mini one in rose. I don't, I'm not sure where I got it from. Oh, I know it's brand new, but it's uh, definitely the shade that I'll probably use. I mean, it's a little too dark, but it's like a little sample size. It's not going to, you know, bother me that because it, it's tiny. It's like the bigger stuff that I need to kind of get rid of. Please excuse my hands. <laughs> They've been so dry. It's been crazy. Like no matter how much lotion I put on them, they're still super dry. And I've been eating pomegranate. This, it's the season and I love that fruit um, or is it pomegranate man it's like in every single video I say that I cannot like I forget how to pronounce it it's ridiculous anyways I've been eating that and you know kind of leaves that stain on my on my hands so yeah that's why they're kind of looking off a little bit well this is another little trio that I haven't touched at all and this is by Laura Geller it's just super nice, but it's like I'm not using that. I haven't touched it. We are going to get rid of it. Plus, it's a little too big to store. So, I'm trying to get rid of all of these bigger size um, palettes. This is the Cover Effects. A beautiful sad. But did I use it? Did I touch it? No, I did not. So, we're going to get rid of it. Then we have this Lorac. Um, it's like the limited edition one, I think. Oh, this one I did use, so a little bit. 
dipped into it a little bit. So you guys know I love my Lorac um, shadows. So their blushes are really good too. So we're gonna, I mean, all these uh, blushes are good. It's just, I don't know, some of them I'm a little more drawn to than others. So we're gonna put it away to be organized later on. All right, let's, let's look at this one. Oh, this is like a little trio by, uh, what is it called? L mm, Lancome, there we go. Just remember that. Like, honestly, I might've swatched it once, but I like didn't use it. So we're gonna get rid of that one. We have this box on Wanderlust that is still in the packaging. This is the, my Conus is the shade and it should be like nice and peachy. I remember I recently bought it. I think it was in my birthday haul. Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful peachy shade. Um, again, I haven't touched it since, you know, my birthday, which was in March. So we are just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's brand new. Then we have the PYT Beauty blush. I love their um, eyeshadows, by the way. Oh, this is an interesting shade. It's very light. I might actually hold on to this one. All right, guys, we do have a lot more to go through. By the way, if you're asking what I'm gonna do with these blushes, I'm going to sell them. I'm definitely going to try and get my money back, some of it. And sell them either or Mercari. If you're interested, you can definitely email me at um, budgetfriendly1 at yahoo.com or you can go ahead and message me on Instagram at budgetfriendly1 and then I will go ahead. You know, if you want to know the prices or anything like that, then this one I'm keeping. Then definitely, you know, message me or email me. And I'll tell you, you know, I will probably do like free shipping on orders of 40 or more. And like if you definitely like if you bundle things, if you buy more, then you will get a bigger discount. Then this one I'm keeping, I mean, it's the Luminoso. It's like very popular shade. I'm pretty sure I have like a brand new blush somewhere in my stash, um, Luminoso, because... I bought, I think I bought it for a giveaway, so that's gonna stay. And then we have the Makeup Geek blush in XOXO. It's very pretty, but it's like, I just swatched it. It might be a little too bright for me, you guys, I think. Hmm. Kind of do need that brighter shade occasionally. You know what, I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh, look at that, how pigmented. It's pretty pigmented. Yeah, it's a little too much for me, so we're gonna get rid of that one. Then what do we have? Ooh, look at that. This is still in its like little um, pouch. Then we have the Blush Prodigy. Prodigy? God, can I read? No, it's just too far and I don't have my glasses on. That's why. Okay, then we have the Sweet Rose 08. Oh yeah, goodness, this is so pretty. It's so light. Um, I'm definitely keeping this one because um, this was another birthday splurge and I just really like that shade. All right, then we have this, um, just another bigger palette here, Becca Chloe Malika palette. Um, ugh, cannot open it. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. How beautiful is this? It's untouched, it's like literally not even swatched. So I am just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Like I said, I wanna get rid of some of the bigger items here so that it's a little more organized and I have more space to put my other blushes, like the singles in there. Because I don't know what it is. I'm like almost intimidated by these palettes. Um, you're gonna ask me, when the hell are you purchasing them then if you're intimidated, right? Well, because it's usually an impulse buy and I see it on internet and it's so pretty and I'm like, I need it in my life and then I never use it. All right, NARS, is this the orgasm? It is the orgasm um, in a powder shape. Yeah, I'm definitely holding on to that because it's like iconic, you know. Then we have NARS Final Cut. Oh, this is nice, nice and peachy. I'm not sure, am I gonna hold on? This one is 
the feel free soul yeah i think i'm gonna get rid of the free soul it's also brand new but i i don't think i'm gonna use that shimmery because it's a little too shimmery for me but this one on the other hand i might no it's a little too beachy for me now <laughs> mm. i feel like i capped something similar it's almost like similar to luminoso except that it's matte I better not drop these blushes. All right. There is some similarity. Now, this is a tough one, you guys. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Laura Mercier. This is the Coral Red Quad. Oh, this should be nice. Yeah, I want to keep that. I definitely use this one, too. The Hot Mama by the Balm. Hot Mama. It is swatched, but it's pretty dark, you guys. Man, I love the balm, though. Why is it so hard for some of these? I don't know. It's like some of these, I'm okay. Getting rid of right away. I'm, get, I'm gonna keep it because... I guess if it takes me that long to decide, maybe I should just keep it. This is the Pretty Vulgar. Make them blush. Okay. Um, this is another one. It's a cute one. It's very similar to the other blushes that I got rid of. So I might, might as well keep this one. And I don't have like Pretty Vulgar or any of the other blushes or anything like that. So might as well just keep one of them. All right, Julep. This one is in Peony Pink. That's a cute one. I've actually been liking these blushes in the stick form because I find that they look a little bit more natural um, on your face. So I think I'll keep that one. Then we have their Laura Geller, the Baked big Blush and Brighton Ethereal Rose. Or is it Ethereal Rose? It's actually quite nice. It's um, it's like light. You know, I like my light shades, especially for right now because I'm so pale. Then we have oh yeah, I'm keeping this one. This is like one of my favorite blushes. Um, it's the Laura Geller, the Pink Valentine. So pretty. I really like that little combo. Then we have Laura Geller, Catalina, Catalina. I think I liked this one too. Pretty sure. I'm going to hold on to that one. Laura Geller again. Tropic Hues. Um, hmm. This is an interesting one, but I think I'll get rid of it because it's a little too dark and a little too shimmery. Then we have the Lit Litchy Rose. It's like really, oh, I mean, it has like two, as you can see, it has two sides to it. One is a little more like peachy and the other one is uh, pinky. I, like it's pretty new, I haven't touched it. And I, I don't think I will touch it though. Okay, then we have the Tarte. This one is in Fearless. I think I'm gonna keep it because I'm pretty sure. Oh no, this is the pink one. Well, it's a little too pink. Now I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, the Flower Beauty, the Flower Pots Powder Blush in P, um, PB4. Mm, it might be a little too shimmery for me. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm definitely keeping it. How cute is this Clinique blush? This is in 08 Melon Pop. Very pretty. I uh, Did I touch it? I might not even have used it yet, So, but I really like that one. Like the shape and look over all the cuteness. This is more like a bronzer looking blush. It's like pretty dark. It's fe feisty or feisty is it? <clears throat> I'm not sure you guys. Kind of need to like to leave some of the darker blushes for myself. Yeah, should I keep it? Should I keep it? I might just keep one of the darker ones. Plus, it's a smaller one, so it's like it's in terms of storage, it's a lot easier to store. We have this Mac Lazy Sunday one. 
it's a little too pink for me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I think it's actually a cream blush. I haven't touched that one. Uh, Face Zero Makeup Cotton Candy Blusher. Oh, I like this color, I'm gonna keep that. Then we have the Laura Geller again, um, Blush and Bright and Pink Grapefruit. Quite like that color already, I can see. Mm, actually, maybe, no, I, I like it. I'm gonna keep that. Plus I really like my cute little tiny ones. Um, like I actually sometimes would buy the mini ones because I mean, who needs that much powder product? You know, you can never get to the bottom of the pan. I mean, unless you kind of use it on daily basis, just one of them. But I find that I rarely hit pan on any of my powder products. This is the Hourglass Luminous Flush. I'm gonna keep that one too. Oh, this is a little cute little Ciate London Pinch Me. Oh, how cute is this? I'm keeping that one too. Then we have the Auto Balm Girl Pow Oh, wait a minute, this is the balm. Oh yeah, because I mean, I'm glad I got rid of that um, bigger palette because I have this blush I actually really like from that palette. I really like this one anyway, so I'm glad I have that little mini size. All right, guys, we have to move on. Can you see? Like, this is ridiculous, right? <laughs> I have more. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and Pool Party, which is not even... Like this is a little damage that happened, but during shipment. But I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I'll be using that one. Then we have the Vintage by Jessica Lee Beds, Lee Biscay. Okay, rose gold. Mm. And I don't know, definitely used it, but I guess I liked it because I kind of, you know, have a good divot in there, made a little divot. So, I might keep it. Should I keep it or should I not? This is a maybe because it's a bit too shimmery. Oh, this one I'm keeping. This is by Julep. Very pretty. Note. Um, 05 Desert Rose. Huh. This is pretty dark. Like pretty peachy dark. I'm going to get rid of that one. I haven't even used that yet. Estee Lauder. I think it's like a little sampler. Oh, this is pretty. I'm gonna keep that. Button Wild. This is the Mellow Wine. Is it brand new? It's still brand new. But I want to try this out. Maybe winter time because it's the dark. The color. It's not as dark as some other blushes that I have, but it's still pretty dark. Then we have Urban Decay Afterglow Score. This should be nice and peachy. No, actually, it's a little more pinky. I I think I'll keep it because I'm pretty sure I liked it. Definitely used it before. Then we have these little um, samplers again. This is by Lancome. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm keeping that. And then we have another sampler. Uh, this one is in all a plum, and that one was in sheer amorose. So yeah, we're holding on to those. And then we have this Clinique one. This is the Sunset Glow. It's brand new, but I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that one. I think I'm gonna, you know, just reach for it because it was in the back. I really didn't see, see it there. This is the MAC um, Petal Powder. Power, Petal Power. I think I'll keep this one. It's really cute. Because I got rid of some of the other ones similar to that. Really, whoa! Where are you going? Okay, this MAC one, I think I only swatched it and it's a bit too dark for me. This is the Dolly, Dolly Mix, Dolly Mix. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Now we have this little set, uh, Happy Birthday set from Sephora, which I haven't even opened it. So yes, I am going to go ahead and open it up and put it to where I can see it. This way I'll use it. Okay, so yeah, this this little blush is in deep, oh, deep throat. Oh my goodness, what is that name? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm keeping that. 
really like these tiny little ones. Did I say that? I always keep on saying that. Keep on repeating myself. Oh, this is really nice. This is LA girl. Um, just blushing and just natural. Um, it's really cute. It's pretty light. So we're going to hold on to that even though I haven't used it yet. This is the Miss Dad Paris um, blush in 645. Pretty sure this this is from that swap that I did like two years ago or so. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I mean, it's really cute and you know, it's like a memory type of thing. Um, I'm gonna open the door a little bit more. So then we have this Too Faced. Let's see, Perfect Flush Blush. Is there a name? Sweetheart. Oh, this is so cute. I really like this side of it. So I'm gonna keep it. Then we have the Tarte Fearless Cheek Stain. Oh, you just, oh, might be a little too old now. I remember I really liked it, but kind of separated, so I'm gonna toss it. And then we have, what is this? Honey Bee Garden. This is in Randa's Woes. I can never know, like I never know how to pronounce these. I'm pretty sure I would use it in the summertime. I mean, it's, although it's pretty dark. But I want to try this company out. I don't remember that I have anything by that company. So I'm going to hold on to it. Then I want to hold on to my little Pacifica one. It's so cute. Uh, it's the Camellia. I definitely love this blush. And I've been using that. Oh, this one is another pretty one that I really like. It's huge. Oh, this is the Revolution. Man, they're so similar to Too Faced. I think they're trying to mimic them. Triple Baked Blusher and Pitchy, Pitchy, Peachy Pink Kisses. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. And then we have these two. This is by Lottie London Blush Crush. Oh, this is very pretty. And this one is in Drake. So it's a really cute blush. I'm keeping that. Then we have the, this is a Drake too. Is this the same one? What? Do I have two of the same blushes? Are you serious? All right, so we are gonna, you know, get rid of one and then we're gonna hold on to the other one. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I thought they were different shades. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. Okay, then we have the Bobbi Brown and Shimmer Blush Pink Coral. So this is the only Bobbi Brown blush that I have. Um, it's a little pretty pink, but hmm, I might just hold on to it. And then we have Coral Crush by Lorac. Yes, I'm keeping that. This is so cute. So I think we are, guys, we are actually near the end. All right, guys, we are getting there. So let me see here. This is the Sarah Pine Botanicals. Well, happy biscuit, hibiscus. Mm, it's actually pretty nice when the swatches, it's not as dark. Then we have the Dose Rust, Rose Rust by So Susan. Oh, it's nice. It's cute. I mean, I'll keep both of them because they're tiny and it's easy to store. And then, well, should I keep them? I'll keep them because I definitely want to use them in summertime. But this Bobbi Brown one, I'm still debating because it's a little too pink for me. I should just get rid of it, you guys, because I don't think I'll use it. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed everything up. I'm going to clean it up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all back like the stuff that I capped and we're gonna see what it looks like at the end.
Right guys, we did it. Everything fits so nicely. I mean, actually I'm gonna switch these because the, this is a little taller. We're gonna put it right here. Okay, now it's a little better. So everything fits so nicely in here. I'm very happy with the way I, it ended up and I can't believe, well, I have two more spaces left in there for new ones, which I am not planning to purchase in the near future anymore because I mean, I have enough blushes to like last me for the rest of my life. And I know there's an expiration date and everything like that. So I better use up what I have right now so that I don't waste any product. That's kind of my goal. I'm gonna rotate them. And I think this kind of is a lot better. You guys saw what a mess it looked in the beginning and how nice it looks right now. Everything's so visible and reachable. So yeah, we're definitely, we did a good job. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.